Now, at the first debate of the U.S. 2024 election season, Biden continued to battle questions about his age and shortness, while Trump's sprawling legal woes remained a vulnerability. The 81-year-old Biden, hoarse and displaying little vocal range, found it difficult to express his points. When asked a question about the national debt, the president lost his train of thought and froze as his time to answer the question ran out. Now, as he tried to make a point about Medicare and tax reform, Biden, in a gaffe, said that they finally beat Medicare. And Trump did not fail to take advantage of the slip-up. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Trump claimed under his presidency, the economy was good and everything was rocking. The former president said he would end the war in Ukraine before he took office. It should have never happened. I will have that war settled between Putin and Zelensky as president-elect before I take office on January 20th. I'll have that war settled. People being killed so needlessly, so stupidly, and I will get it settled, and I'll get it settled fast before I take office. Now, both the contestants also sparred over criminal cases that have embroiled Trump and Biden's son, Hunter. Biden particularly targeted Trump over sexual abuse claims with Stormy Daniels, saying that he has the morals of an alley cat. The crimes that you are still charged with, and think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for, for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star, on the night while your wife was pregnant. I mean, what, what, what are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. Give me a minute, sir. I didn't have sex with a porn star. Now, at a time when concerns about Joe Biden's age continue to hold a place in the minds of voters, Biden delivered a shaky performance while his Republican rival battered him with a series of attacks. Donald Trump rattled off one attack after another, including claims that migrants have carried out a crime wave and that Democrats support infanticide. Our correspondent Susan Tehrani now joins us live from the United States. Susan, first up, very simply, how is the country reacting to the debate? I'm sorry, your voice broke out. Uh, I didn't hear your question. Sure. Susan, if you can hear me clearly now. Yes. Great. First up, after the debate, what are the reactions that you're seeing around you? How is the country reacting it? So we do know that, you know, the country is very polarized. Republicans see this as a win for the former president. But the Democrats are very split uh, morning after what we just witnessed last night. You have governors across the country who were saying absolutely not. Joe Biden was just had a bad night. He had the cold. Uh, and he should uh, focus on policy and he should not step aside for another candidate. There are lawmakers in Washington who are in a state of panic. They're concerned that the president is not going to make it to the finish line. They're also concerned that there's going to be House elections in 2024 as well, and they're going to be losing seats. And then you have the undecided voter. Now, mm -hmm. while Donald Trump is not genuinely or generally popular so much uh, as, you know, the Republicans might have hoped the undecided voters were concerned about Biden's age, but it doesn't mean that they ultimately turned uh, to Donald Trump and had made their decision to vote for Trump either. So, you know, it's a mixed bag. Let's wait a few days and see how this pans out. But one thing is for sure, you cannot deny what we saw with our own eyes last night. 
policy aside, all of uh, the things that perhaps President Biden has done aside, that performance was concerning nonetheless. And I think America sees that. And remember, this performance comes just a few days after the White House was defending President Biden, saying that the videos that we see online of him sort of wandering around are quote unquote cheap fakes. Okay, taking off from that, Susan, uh, would you say that this has perhaps worked against the Democrats with uh, Biden's incoherence heightening fears of his age? Yeah, absolutely. I think what was also very interesting to see is that so many, notably in the media, have decided to come out and acknowledge the fact that, you know, the president may be just too old to lead. And why did it take a debate like this uh, for them to acknowledge that? I mean, we've all been watching it for the past few months, if not years. The Democrats are concerned, but this concern, we have to see how will it play out? Will it play out in a way that they'll be someone uh, that will try to convince the president and the first lady that he should step aside? Or will it be in a way that donors are going to try to turn this around and focus on his policies, you know, for whatever reason, and try to make it some sort of comeback? Another possibility is President Biden finishes, uh, crosses the finish line, possibly winning the elections in 2024, governs for a few months, and then hands it to Kamala Harris. So, you know, there are a lot of ways you can look at this, but it was a very, very bad night for Democrats, especially because they made so much publicity about how much the president was preparing behind closed doors for this debate. Thank you, Susan Tehrani, for joining us with those details. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.